What we have learned over the weekend is how deep the rot sits within the Russian military and uh, security services. We have also seen that the social contract between Putin and the people of Russia, whereby they are forced to give up their rights in response for security and stability, is utterly broken. We have also learned the internal security apparatus is as broken as Putin's offensive military foreign capabilities. But there is, this is not over yet, and there is too much that, frankly, does not add up. So can my right honourable friend please update us? How many British nationals remain in Russia, and will he now launch a register for British nationals so that we know how many are there should we need to get them out? And secondly, can my right honourable friend please update us on how the Ukrainians have capitalised on this chaos? Because we hear now they may have taken back villages held since 2014 by Russian troops, as well as having crossed the Dnipro River, which would be an enormous turning point because it would allow them to establish that bridgehead to push Russia out of southern Ukraine. Secretary of State. Madam Deputy Speaker, my um, honourable friend makes uh, an incredibly important point. Um, uh, there is a quote, uh, and I will paraphrase it because I don't have the, um, uh, I don't have the uh, precise words in front of me, but if you trade freedom for security, you end up with neither. Uh, I think the Russian people are now recognising that. With regards to uh, uh, what may happen in Russia in the future, as I've said, we, of course, look at scenario uh, planning to make sure that we are able to respond to whatever happens. With regard to British nationals uh, within Russia, uh, as she will know, um, we don't uh, force British nationals to register uh, with the uh, embassy, and so therefore it is not possible for us uh, to give an accurate figure. The UK's travel advice has now for some years made it clear that we advise against all travel to any part of Russia, and we also make it clear that unless your uh, presence in Russia is essential, then you should uh, consider leaving by commercial routes. Uh, the House should recognise that uh, because of the situation in Russia, because of the conflict, uh, the ability of the UK to uh, conduct an extraction operation as we did in Sudan uh, is, uh, would be severely limited, probably to the point of impossibility. So I reiterate our travel advice that British nationals should seek to uh, leave uh, the country, should consider leaving the country by commercial routes uh, unless their presence is uh, absolutely uh, essential. And on her uh, final point, uh, of course, what we, what we have seen in terms of these fractures, these cracks running through the Russian uh, system, uh, will of course had an impact on those Russian troops and those Wagner uh, mercenaries uh, at the front line, who will now be looking over their shoulders just as much as they will be looking forward uh, out of their trenches. Um, we will, of course, continue to support Ukraine in their steady and methodical recapturing of the ground that has been stolen from them by the Russian forces.